please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk for more useful tips. The marketing mix. A company needs to consider the marketing mix in order to meet their consumers' needs effectively. Elements of the marketing mix. The marketing mix is the combination of product, price, place and promotion for any business venture. Not one element of the marketing mix is more important than another. Each element ideally supports the other. Firms modify each element in the marketing mix to establish an overall brand image and a unique selling point that makes their product stand out from the competition. Using the marketing mix An exclusive brand of accessories use the best materials but come at a high price. Such designer brands can only be bought at exclusive stores and are promoted using personal selling sales assistant. By contrast, cheap and cheerful accessories for the mass market is best sold in supermarkets and can be promoted using television adverts. Market research findings are important in developing the overall marketing mix for a given product. By identifying specific customer needs, a business can adjust the features, appearance, price and distribution methods for a target market segment. New technologies and changing fashion mean goods and services have a limited product life cycle. Ideally, the marketing mix is adjusted to take account of each stage. For example, the life of a product can be extended by changing packaging to freshen a tied brand and so boost sales. There is no single right marketing mix that works for all businesses at all times. The combination of product, price, promotion and place chosen by a business will depend on its size, competition, the nature of the product and its objectives. Consumer protection. The law gives customers protection against unfair selling practices. You do not need to know the specific acts, but you do need to understand how fair trading regulations protect consumers. The consumer has basic legal rights if the product is given a misleading description of an unsatisfactory quality, not fit for its intended purpose. Sale and Supply of Good Act 1994 This act says that all products have to be of a satisfactory quality. This means that they have to be safe, last for a reasonable amount of time, be fit for their intended purpose, have nothing wrong with them, unless the defect was noted at time of sale. Trade Description Act According to the Trade Description Act, false or misleading information must not be given about products. For example, accurate information must be given about who made the product. Fake designer goods that are marked as genuine are a clear breach of the Trade Description Act. Consumer Credit Act 1974 This act protects you when you borrow or buy on credit. The Consumer Credit Act states that businesses must have license to give credit. No one under 18 is to be invited to borrow or buy on credit. Businesses have to state an annual percentage rate. If you sign a credit agreement at home, you have several days in which you can tear up the agreement. Please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk for more useful tips.